the truth, look, it's the truth, look, it's the truth, look, kind of love, it's the truth, look, it's the truth, look, it's the truth, kind of love. Guys, I really feel like that this episode will have been better to the point that seeing Steven in the state that he's in after taking lessons from a mentor that doesn't want to go to Little Homeward while going to Little Homeward school is promising. I admit that Steven taking lessons from Jasper on what it's like to, do, to unleash his anger, which is the premise of the episode entirely, can lead to interesting concepts, but considering that they had to cut episodes and they only did what they could to, to make this episode the way it is, they would have avoided dropping the ball on the whole Steven Shadow and Jasper situation. For someone who watched Miss Anthropony slash Zayt Magenta Steven Universe video on his take on Steven reforming Jasper despite her gem getting shadowed. It's literally one of the only things that is stuck in my mind, even though it didn't really ruin the whole show or series for me. Fragments is the type of episode that gave me mixed opinions on. After watching the Misanthos last Zayt Magenta video before I got removed due to him deleting his channel, I really feel like that this episode alone had grew on me in a way that made me feel understanding, but at the same time questioning on how this epilogue would have been much more better if it had more episodes. And with it, and with episodes like this, along with the following episodes, it gave me the impression that a character like Jasper has been misused, especially in the epilogue series. Well, after being reformed, after getting shadowed, she doesn't do much whatsoever to the point that his that her presence in the following episode and in the last episode just feels awkward and the fact that she is at Little Home School just makes me question onto how they would have taken a route much more interesting if again this epilogue had more episodes. It is annoying for me to state that multiple times, but the way I see it, it really feels like that they had to cut so many elements for the sake of trying to structure this, and with the uh, and with the amount of episodes that they had, they had to do some do some shortcuts for the sake of making everything okay, which is ironic considering that the thought to last episode sums up everything onto why it ended up becoming the episode it is. I feel like that Jasper helping out Steven unleashing his anger is what Steven may see in Jasper, which he did, but at the same time, unlike Jasper, Steven isn't like Jasper, and for how he's handling his anger a lot more physically, and when it came to him shadowing Jasper, he went back to normal, it sums up that this direction was a really bad idea from the start on Steven's part. Now, I did say that him proposing to Connie in my reviews of the future episodes centering around Connie is what makes Steven stupid. Which, for me personally, I take that back because even though that he was, I didn't make it as it seems to make Steven as the bad guy. Because whenever I look at Steven in that episode and in this episode, him trying methods that he hasn't tried before would only be justified in criticism if the world building isn't like Steven Universe. If it happened in a different world building, in a different civilization, then I would understand Steven being an idiot on being in the group that really makes him feel like an outcast. But since that he isn't an outcast, in this show's world building, I'm I'm really getting the impression that he is mostly getting off scot-free, mainly the fact that he isn't like any other human. And even though that my comments centering around that when it comes to the off colors episodes on how Steven's connection towards humans is what's brain 
Kyoto's like laws back to life. I can't really say the same thing when it comes to Jasper due to so many possibilities they scrap and only ended up with the only shortcuts that they can do. Let me just say that every time I look at Jasper in this, for how he's just trying to, she's just trying to show Jasper whole way of handling the situation on the fact that she wants another battle with Steven. I really feel like that this battle would have been a lot more epic if it, if this episode was 22 minutes longer rather than 11 minutes. So I can actually understand the battle and emotions from two characters because the battle between Jasper and Steven is good, I'll admit. But at the same time for how we see, we see how powerful Steven is, we would have seen more of his mental state, his PTSD, and the fact that there's no there's no return after a crisis that he caused by shadowing Jasper. Because even though that it has good detail by having Steven's eyes as the shape of the diamonds, which is ironic considering Pink Diamond was the was the problem that he dealt with the most. We would have seen him more physical and more menacing for how he is taking full control of his anger. If you ask me, if we actually saw something like this from Change Your Mind, the setting would have been a lot more different and the direction would probably be a little washed, but at the same time, for how Steven was betrayed by going through the responsibilities, that would have only worked if Steven was older in Change Your Mind, which is mainly the same age as he's in in this epilogue. But let's get into the ending. Well, Steven, after shadowing Jasper, he manages to reform her, which honestly makes me feel like Miss Anthropoline Zay Machenta really felt like the, that the show went downhill quickly, especially since that Yellow Diamond has the ability to fix the gems that were shadowed. Even by going through season after season, especially in the beginning before I started making my reviews of this marathon, I knew what I was going to say involving the ending of this episode because it's not done correctly and even though that the elements that Steven has is for, is for the gems to be reformed, for me personally, with him reforming a shadow gem after he destroyed it really made me feel like that if he didn't reform a gem then the rest of the episodes wouldn't even work so without any answers on the questions centering around Steven forming Jasper after shadowing her made this episode not so good especially with the qualities it had for the majority of it. If Steven showed Yellow Diamond the shadowed gem of Jasper, I'm pretty sure that it will reach to a point where, she, where he can actually get into severe trouble and for the sake of just having this being resolved simply without any, quest without any questions whatsoever, this is literally the only way for Steven to actually have the ending in I Am My Monster without suffering actual consequences. Because this is basically a Jimmy Neutron moment where Jimmy Neutron causes a problem and then he solves the problem to the point that nothing happens towards the end. Which for me personally made me feel like that if they really wanted this whole Shadowing Gem thing to be a serious problem, they seriously need more episodes to make this work. Even though that I don't agree Miss Anthropony slash Zayd Magenta's points on how the world building has been damaged due to Steven forming Jasper after getting shadowed, I can still understand where he's coming from judging of how this has been on my mind for, for four years since I watched his video of it and for how it made me question on to how the epilogue would have been like if it had more structure. Trust me when I say this, is that when you have a scene like this and there's no going back, then 
it sums up a lot onto why people found the alternative ending that a fan made a lot more memorable and a lot more serious. But with this being a kids show and they want to make sure that no one dies aside from Pink Diamond, I'm pretty sure that they really wanted Jasper to actually live for the sake of kids who actually found Jasper awesome. I've went through this scenario when it comes to other cartoons in the past, so it really feels like that death is really forbidden in kid shows like Steven Universe. But then again, the diamonds are genocidals, but for how the gems cooperate, mainly having a gem die or getting killed in episode is the only way for it to be forbidden. I don't know if I'm just making things up on how most of this works when it comes to the death of characters, but this really made me feel like that they really had to do the shortcuts for the sake of having Steven having the ending with the other characters, because this is the only roadblock that really makes I Am My Monster difficult to get into due to this element alone. And... If I did wrap up this marathon with this episode by not revisiting the following four episodes, it wouldn't be a good way to wrap up this marathon this way. Judging of how the following episodes are mixed bags, which I didn't bring up in my comparison video of them with Change Your Mind nearly four years ago. Let me just say that the following four episodes that I'm going to be re revisiting is going to be a clear point of view and understanding how the episodes are the way they are, and me staying on the fact that there should have been more episodes, but I don't want this video to be longer than it need to be. I'm giving Fragments a 6.25 out of 10. You.